Hi, this is Jonathan Tushman, and hopefully this will be a short video about my Pivotal Tools library, um, which works with Pivotal Tracker to help with three agile processes, uh, a weekly planning session, your daily scrum, and the generation of release notes uh, before release. Let's get started. To install, pip install Pivotal Tools. And then um, you need to set an uh, environment variable um, called Pivotal Token. So I'll just do it on the command line here, but in general I put this in a .bashrc or a .zshm file. And this you can find this um, token inside your profile settings uh, in your account. This is how it knows to make the association. So you can run Pivotal Tools. Uh, this is a list of commands. Um, and let's start with um, the planning session. So I call that uh, poker, so planning poker. So we run Pivotal Tools Poker. Here it's going to prompt you for your projects. So this supports multiple projects. For now we only have one, so we'll pick uh, my sample project. And what this is going to do is loop through all unestimated stories and give you a very simple, hopefully easy to read view of the story. So you and your team sitting in a room can come up with an estimate. So. An admin should be able to create and edit blogs. Let's give that two points. Um, an admin should be able to save blog entries and draft modes. That's uh, one point, and so on. And you'll notice over here that they're updating these things in real time. Um, if you also want to you know, open that story to make a comment or uh, whatever the story, you can type O, and it will actually open the story in the browser, uh, which we find useful. And if you're not ready to estimate that now, you can skip a story and come back to it later. So I find this linear approach on a very, you know, on a terminal actually quite useful. Um, all right, cool. So now you've done your planning and people are starting to start work on tasks. So let's go to our backlog or current and have some work be started. So configure Stoller. So I'll start that one. So I'm now working on that. And let's say somebody else on my team is working on um, integrating with the payment gateway. And let's assign that to uh, Freedom. And let's say I'm also starting on this one. And this one here belongs to uh, me. All right. so. Uh, every day we have a scrum session to, to, to take a look at what people are doing, ask if they're hung up on certain things. Um, and I like to have a, at a glance see what people are working on. Pivotal can help us with that. So we can Pivotal Tools. We'll do Pivotal Tools Scrum. And now that we always know we're going to be working with the same project, I like to pass it as a um, parameter here. Every time you misspell Scrum in any sort of way, it's always a funny way of spelling it. Cool, so as of August 14th, our Scrum Freedom's working on integrating with the Payment Gateway, and I'm working on these tasks, and you also get a glance at the visual of how um, complex each task is. So we find this, we run this every day, and we find it uh, useful. Now, weekly, we do a release from staging to, um, from development to staging, and we want to tell our, uh, our users what has been pushed there, and we think that it should be driven from Pivotal. So let's um, finish some of these things in Pivotal. And now we can run um, changelog. And it's going to loop through the, your tools and show what the new features are, what bugs have been fixed, and if there are uh, other known issues, issues that we are known uh, but not yet fixed. Um, it also organizes them by um, by label. So it takes the first label uh, in the story and groups it by that. So there are three chart stories that were released this week. So we just do this. We can send an email and everyone knows what's going on. Um, that's about it. There's some other features here I, uh, I encourage you to explore. Um, just run pivotaltools.help to see um, everything else that that does. 
and uh, hopefully you guys find it useful. Um, thanks for your time.